Douglas had returned from what would be his final bout with the Midnight Goods. Usually I can take a wee row, but those mainland easels really had a go at me this time. I don't know what might have happened if my guard hadn't shooed them away. I'm so sorry, Douglas. You were very brave to stand your ground. Bear and Boko heard the commotion from their shed. Poor Douglas. I wish the diesels across the bridge would show our friends some respect. It'd certainly give us less to smooth over afterwards. Remember when that really stuck up diesel passed through? I remember when he passed through our shed. (laughs) (laughs) Or my old friend, 199. Had he been less conceited, he might have shared this shed with us. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. I'd like another engine to take the midnight goods for a while. Can you do it, Bear? Of course, sir. Bear said his goodbyes to Boko and left to make the necessary preparations. And late that night, he set off to the mainland. He made good time and dropped the trucks off in a siding. To his relief, none of the other diesels gave him any trouble for being the one from Sodor. That is, until he passed through a lonely scrapyard. Who are you? Uh, I'm Bear, the number three diesel engine on the island of Sodor. What What is your your business business here? here? I'm just... just passing through. I came here to deliver a late-night goods train. Just...